is a little bind on the floor. He's going to get back up, smack nine miles back, and it's too late. He's going to get blitz and freeze, and, bah, bah, bah. and then the next man is like, bah, bah, choke. I'm showing up in London, so I don't want really to take his head off. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to show up there. I don't care about that. He's just... Is he trying to sell that though, like that you Yeah, he's up? just salty that he didn't get a main event slot in Dublin. Do you know what I mean? That's what everyone wants. And uh, I hold the I hold the ticket to that. And he's salty that he didn't get that. And he's seen the last one and he's snapping that he didn't get in there. And now he's on London, do you know what I mean? It's like ah, uh, it's not as good. Do you know what I mean? And that's just the way he's taking us, but I don't care what he thinks, do you know what I mean? He can say what he wants, do what he wants and whatever, but I'm coming there prepared to fight him. He's a good fighter. Don't underestimate him one bit. He's solid. He's going to bring problems, and I've got everyone unsolved. He's coming to fight. This is what I want. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I want him to show up there, and I want him to bring a fight because the better he comes, the better I have to be, and, uh, and that brings out the best. Yeah, so yeah. it is me going here. I'm going to do what I do, and have the time of my life. Do you know what I mean? 22 years old, Wembley, he's working in the arena. Do you know what I mean? Bring a lot of people over, get paid more money for one fight than I've earned in the last six years or whatever, do you know what I mean? It's fucking quality. <laughs> what more? <laughs> what more would I want? <laughs> He's talking about criticism and all and all this crack how does it feel? He's great. <laughs> <laughs> if he's nice in my position, he's in. Thanks for joining. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you again. Thanks very much. We're actually doing Dr. Perry's rail reset on um, James, which is going to work through the lymph system and just a couple of checks, a couple of movements, check what slings are good, what's a bit tight, and uh, get them reset. This is going to be once a week, um, and then two more recovery sessions. This is to get James's limb system awake, and to make sure that he's recovering properly. We're fine using the nervous system, the circulatory system, but nobody awakens the limb system. It's one of the biggest systems in the in the body. So. If we do this for a number of weeks, James will start to recover quicker and quicker. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like seizing up, I'm allowed to like move. It's like the sharpness of the shots and stuff. You think your timing's off, but it's not. It's just your body not reacting up to the speed of your mind. And I feel like it helps with that kind of thing. Especially in spar. Uh, feel you feel much looser, more mobile and more like free, so I find I don't get tired either. Cause my body's not tensed up and like, seized up, you know what I mean, from knocks and bumps and stuff. Before we sit it, yeah, so like, now it's like coming towards like, the last two weeks of training. So uh, I was sparring yesterday and then I got like, physio done. Last night rubbed out this and so now I'm gonna do like a recovery run. Just like a slow 30 minute run, get a sweat going and stretch out. And then we're gonna go boxing then tonight. So it is it's really the only double session of the week. Just to recover and then yoga tomorrow. Get ready for the week. Do you think about the fight when you're running? Yeah, 100%. It's the only thing I think about. Or else I wouldn't run. <laughs> yeah. It's the only reason why I want to get fit. Put a pace on him like after three rounds and no one's going to last it, so I just want to win. I'm going to fuck myself.